Hey, Master Killer here. I uh, just thought I'd make a video to show you how to crack Windows XP and some Windows Vista passwords using Ulfcrack. And it's a pretty easy process. All you need is internet, CD, and a CD burner. And of course, a username on Windows with the password on it. And what you're going to do is just go to Internet Explorer, in this case, Mozilla Firefox. And you go to, I have it bookmarked here, I'll post the link on my video. Let's see. It's ulfcrack.sourceforge.net with http colon forward slash forward slash in the beginning. And like I said, I'll post that. This is just a, uh, it's a main site for ulfcrack. I tried using Google. It's kind of hard, takes a while, you might get malware. This is pretty reli reliable. And on here you want to go down to Ulfcrack Live CD and click on the link to Ulfcrack Live CD. It'll bring you to the main sourceforge.net and you need, it'll ask you to review the files below you want to just click on Ulfcrack Live CD, which is the ISO. And once you do that, it'll start downloading. I've already got it downloaded, so I'll skip ahead to that. And once it's downloaded, it'll look like this right here. And uh, you can right click it and say record to CD. And then it'll bring up your CD burner. And, uh, the default program for that and just burn it right to a CD for you and uh, that's about it now that you have Ulfcrack on the CD the final step is to actually crack the password and just simply put in Ulfcrack uh, into your primary CD drive and make sure it doesn't load up try and load up and just shut the computer off right away All right. Now that the computer is shut off and the OFRAC CD is in, uh, first you got to be prepared. You got to know uh, how to get into the computer's boot menu. And many computers vary depending on the bias and stuff. Mine, I have to press F12, and you can find out how just by simply looking at looking at like. When your computer turns on, there's an actual startup screen that maybe is displayed for just a couple seconds and then Windows starts loading up. But you want to look at that, the first thing displayed. And usually you don't have a lot of time, but after a while you, you'll figure it out. Alright, and make sure you press the button right as the display is on. And there's my computer's boot menu. And I'm going to go down to IDE CD-ROM or CD-ROM device. If you are smart enough to put old crack on a USB flash device, maybe I'll show another tutorial on that. And you can select a USB flash device. So but that, that gets pretty complicated. And then just press enter, whatever your computer needs you to do. And then you'll see an Ulfcrack Live CD startup screen. And uh, from here on out, just don't press anything. Let it load. And it'll show Slacks is starting, which is a uh, Ulfcrack's operating system. It's it's like a, basically like a small uh, Linux system. And this will probably take a minute or two. 
and you'll see command props just flashing up. And you might want to note that if you are running Vista, Vista uh, I believe it only works on Vista SAM or SAM. I'm not sure about that. I'm sure there's probably another password cracker for the other Windows Vistas. So, yeah, I would, just to be safe, I probably would only use this on Windows XP until you're sure. And once that's done, you'll get a little, you'll get your blank black screen with an X, and then it may take a while, but a window will pop up. And it's a white window just saying, oh, crack is running. And uh, then you'll get a window to the right. And that's, in, that's looking at the system files, and it'll show all the usernames and some, uh, maybe, it might show usernames that have been uh, deleted, but you had them in the past and it'll say empty for all the usernames that don't have passwords and I only have one on here that actually has a password so just uh, click on that and it might take a little bit, it's still loading right now and eventually it'll be uh, become selected and once it right now it's probably cracking the password it's not showing it though once it's well, once it's done or typically once it's like close to being done it'll show uh, how long it took and stuff and the percentage it's been cracked and it's cracking it right now it's almost cracked and there we have my password uh, to ARX 5351 and uh, now that you have the password you'll want to shut down this um, I know just click stop and then exit and uh, just X out of that and then just press the power button on your computer and it'll come to the screen and then you can uh, pop out, it'll pop out the disk for you and uh, there you have it and now shut off windows or shut off the computer and I'll turn it back on right now and then just make sure all crack is out of the CD drive. And I uh, have Windows start up normally. Once you're at the welcome screen, just click on the user that you have the password for, or multiple users, I guess. And I'll type in, I know you can't see it, but TRX5351 and enter. And there it goes.